hello, hello to all of my water bearers. This is Queen Amura coming to you with your Tuesday slash Wednesday video. Aquarius, let's get right into it. Happy birthday to each and every one of you all. I have had the pleasure of sending you all text messages. The last book giveaway, first of all, for people who are asking questions about when do I do giveaways and all of that, Aquarius, please pay attention, okay? When I either post it on my community page or I'm gonna announce it in my videos, right? That's That was the past, right? Because we have a, uh, I've been notified by a lot of you all, first of all, thank you for this, but I've been notified by a lot of you all. There are a lot of fake um, pages that were created, Instagram pages, those kind of things. So from now on, my giveaways will be announced on my videos, during my videos, at some point during my videos, there'll be a, either a trivia question or something, right? The last giveaway that I had, right? The last giveaway for that book that I told you all about that is listed in my community page is up there. That giveaway has ended. People are still sending me text messages. It, it only went on for one day. That giveaway has ended. I am still responding to over 500 text messages but people were sending me the day after and so on and so forth. So again, happy birthday to each and every one of you all. If you would like for me to send you a happy birthday text, please, 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 Aquarius, <laughs> add your name to the text. Don't just say, hi, you know, my birthday is on February the whatever date or January the whatever date, no name or anything, please, because I don't know who to text back, right? I'd like to be able to put you on a happy birthday list. So please, please, please do not forget to add your name to the text message. Let's get into your reading, Aquarius. The energy has already been cleared. Again, this is your Wednesday reading. This is your midweek Wednesday reading. So let's get into it. By now, you know who I am talking to. I am talking to my progressive, original, independent, unique, friendly, powerful, open-minded humanitarians who are also very creative, free-spirited, and intellectual. Aquarius, I am talking to you, the I know sign. Yes. Oh, nice, Aquarius. Nice, nice, nice. All right, let's get into your reading. We have the Six of Swords. Uh-huh. We also have the Nine of Cups. Uh-huh. We have the Seven of Pentacles. Mm-hmm. We have the Knight of Cups. We have the Knight of Swords. And we have the two of pentacles. So somebody is, there's like an equal distribution of things going on here, right? So first of all, first and foremost, a lot of you all have been doing the energy work and you're going to see it in the growth of your money, this the energy of money coming your, your way. So I need you all to really, really, really stay focused. I'm going to tell you, like I told, I'm going to be probably telling everybody we don't have, currently we don't have any planets that are retrograde. So some things may be a little harder to spot. You know, the, one of the things I love about retrograde, when planets go retrograde, is because it gives the illusion that things are slowing down so that you can pay attention. But for some people, they're like, oh my God, they hear retrograde and they get freaked out and go nuts, right? You don't have to do that. That's what I love about retrograde. Station direct, it seems like things are just moving at a normal pace. So maybe it may not be able, you may not be able to pick up on things as you would when planets go retrograde. Because um, so, and plus we have a, we're coming up on a full moon, right? So the full moon is in Leo. It's on the 16th. It's approximately 7.9 days away at filming, right? At filming is approximately 7.9 days away. So we're going to talk a little bit about the number 79, but you've been doing the energy work, Aquarius. You all are balancing out your daily affairs when it comes to your money. So keep in mind, remember doing new moon energy, which, you know, we're at the first quarter moon energy at this point, but you were, you planted your seeds, you uh, are watering those seeds, you set your intentions, you're very careful about who you, sit, you share those intentions with. And so it may be a little difficult to find out who is who but remember you've been asking for some things right you've been you've been doing the energy work and you've been balancing out your daily affairs when it comes to your money right what I'm seeing for somebody is that somebody's going to emotionally feel like they hit the jackpot because they're going to come in contact with somebody who's a really really sweetheart energy right and that person may have you kind of thinking hmm maybe I maybe I can revisit this love thing again 
for some of you all. Again, only take what resonates with you, Aquarius. Maybe I can revisit this love thing again, right? But it's because, because of the work that you've been doing on yourself, Aquarius. You've been doing the energy work. Somebody may have Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio in their chart, but somebody tiptoed into that, that room, that divine feminine energy within themselves and said, I'm going to start nurturing myself more. This is why you are attracting love energy your way like romantic love energy your way so somebody's going to feel like they have emotionally hit the jackpot because of the work that you've been doing on yourselves right so here's the thing all those deep emotions that you may have had for somebody else in a past relationship that really hurt you that you were really disappointed with you're going to get you're going to get as far away from that emotion as possible that emotion of I'm never going to find love again. And every time I come in contact with somebody, they treat me a certain way. And I, and I thought, I, you know, I thought this was the one and it's not the one. You're getting as far away from that again. All of your relationships are about to change, Aquarius, just because you believe in love again. Like you, you believe in humanity again. And I don't mean just romantic love. I'm talking about agape love. I believe in good in people again. That's what you're going to start seeing, right? Again, because it's been the work that you've been doing in yourself and just saying, hold on, you know, well, time out. I'm an Aquarius. I'm extremely smart. I'm light years ahead of a lot of people. Now, this is not putting you in elite status. It's just that, you know what? I've been I've been trying to fit in so long. I didn't even I forgot that I was meant to stay. I was created to stand out. And so that stand out in you cuz you know allowing yourself to be dragged backwards Aquarius into a whole bunch of other drama and all of that thing caused you to cause you to almost force you to get so disappointed in mankind that you get you got lost in that right so yes somebody is getting far away as possible from some deep disappointment of family deep, deep disappointment of romantic love agape love and every other kind of love in between and you're coming back to who you've always been which is really really a sweetheart and that's why emotionally somebody is feeling like they hit the jackpot you're going to see it in the also in the love relationships around you because i don't want somebody to think i'm just talking about money here because all of this is energy right you're gaining your power back you're starting to fall back in love with yourself even more so you're moving differently now in aquarius and so that's what i'm saying keep that in mind because we don't have any planets that are retrograde we're getting closer and closer to full moon there are going to be some people around you who are going to say oh i remember when you were impulsive when you were unpredictable when you were inconsistent you were stubborn you were an extremist it's just you were just so rigid you weren't bugged you wouldn't move that kind of thing but what they won't admit to is their role in contaminating you either right so that's what you're getting as far away from you may say wow that person remembers all these horrible things about me but they they somehow don't remember what they did so okay all right you'll just keep on moving forward right the number 79 we're apparently approximately 7.9 days away from the next full moon 79 channels wisdom through intuition and the vibration of high leadership as a 79 you reflect a keen intelligence which is merged with compassion for humanity remember i said you all are getting away from that deep disappointment in humanity right when we're looking at these cards right here and you're really starting to fall in love with yourselves again and still really starting to fall in love with humanity like seeing the good in people because you see all of that good in yourself right and it's going to show in the energy of money some of you all didn't even want to be bothered with people anymore don't even want to be bothered with love because of you've been so disappointed and hurt in the past and i see you moving towards generational wealth see what's happening Aquarius is that you're returning back to be the humanitarian that you were created to be because how can you be a humanitarian and hate humans right you may have hated you may have been hated that you were so hurt by some people but you're starting to look at things a lot differently now and so this right here is not only about big money this is really about your effect on the people around you in your in your circle your soul tribes or family it's also how you affect your community and the world at large that's what legacy wealth is all about it's not just about money it's that imprint that you leave your footprint or that imprint that you're leaving in on the world when you trend when you uh you know when you um when you transition right so you're seeing things you're much wiser now 
you're not getting so emotionally affected by things that you would have gotten affected by in the past, right? You're wiser, you're more knowledgeable, and you're severing ties with certain things that before you would have paid a little bit too much attention to. It's like, wow, you know, I'm so disappointed that this person did X, Y, and Z. Now you see, you can see beyond in their spirit and see why they are the way that they are, and you focus on saving yourself, right? Your throat chakra is wide open. Somebody may be singing around the house or talking to their ancestors around the house or going for a walk and talking to trees and talking to grass and talking to, you know, but your, your throat, you don't, your throat chakra is not, is not, um, it's not obstructed, right? We also have the, the strength card here, right? So the strength card lets me know that somebody is really tapping into strength that they didn't even realize they had. Information is flowing to you like lightning. Your intuition is just on it, on it, on it, on it, on it. So there are some people, like I said, you're tapping into a strength that you didn't even realize you had. As we move closer to the full moon, which is on the 16th of this month, a lot of you all are, may have Leo in your chart, but you're going to be tapped because the, the full moon is a Leo this time on the 16th. You may have Leo in your chart, and like I said, um, you're going to have to really, really tap into strength you didn't even realize you had because you're so vulnerable right now. This is a real, uh, this is a vulnerable space because at first you're like, how could I be a humanitarian and actually hate humans? So your heart may start warming up to the, okay, uh, if, if I can kind of, so if I can give, give you a, you know, step into my spirit for a second. Some of you all have been so hurt by people that you love, and it's been so deep and so, the, 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 the pain has been so deep and so intense. As you get closer and closer to the full moon, you may feel some of those energies trying to reach back out to you, right? You may tell them in the spirit realm that I forgive you, but you already know that there's no way they could ever come back, right? They want to reach out to you to apologize. They want to reconnect with you. And so when somebody hurt you real deeply, it could have been a domestic violence situation. And domestic violence is not just between husband and wife or husband and husband or wife and wife. Sometimes it's between family members. It could be fa uh, favorite cousin. It could be between uh, parents and kids. It's domestic, right? It's family. So somebody, somebody hurts you deeply. They're trying to reach back out to you because they're like, man, I really had it wrong about Aquarius. Like, I really messed up, right? They won't have access to you, not because you're bitter or angry or even afraid of them at this point. It's just because you have just decided, I am a humanitarian, right? I'm stepping back into full consciousness and that awareness of actually believing that people are good. These people just made some poor decisions and I have to now protect myself, right? And so because you are a fixed sign and because you are so loyal to that it actually their their low vibration energy contaminated you aquarius but i see you being victorious because you're not going back and again you're in a very vulnerable space so you can tell them you, you don't even have to say anything to them. I mean, I, I see some of you all, and I'm not being funny when I say this at all, Aquarius, but I see some of you all waving at them in the distance in through your meditative state where they are on one side of the glass, you're on the other side in this protective space because, again, you're in such a vulnerable state, and you're waving at them, and they're just crying out like, I just wish I had one more time with you. But they don't even realize that relationship is dead. There's no way you're going to even revive it in any way, shape, form, or fashion. Again, you're gone from their lives. They have no more access. So I see somebody waving like this, like just waving, like it's over, right? And I see somebody being more conservative with their money. And I do see travel in your cards as well. And I see you working very hard and money just following you. Because it was never really meant for them. You know, whether whether the money comes to you, it's just, like I said, this is more, when I look at this, it's not just about the physical money here. It, it's a, it's really, really about the, the value that they didn't see in you, Aquarius. They didn't see the value in you. So they just kind of just, I mean... Like I said, shame on them. Really, shame on them, Aquarius. That's all I can say is shame on them. But I do see you being victorious and moving forward with all of this because, um, like I said, and there, there's quite a few people in that, you know, that's going to be looking at you like, well, I really wish I had access to Aquarius. I really wish I had... Um, I, I was just wrong. What was that? You know, some of them may be prideful. 
Some of them may not ever, you know, ever. But for you, it was, when I say it was really deeply, it was painful. I'm just getting domestic violence and not necessarily between a husband and a wife. That could have been, or husband and husband or wife and wife. This, this is family too, because that's also could be domestic violence, right? Just family members who just hurt you. So it felt like you got struck by lightning for some, that's how intense it was, right? And so you have to tap into your strength because their face, their, their name, something may come back up in your spirit because they really want to reconnect. You may see their name. Like, let's say for instance, the two, the two of you may follow the same person online, um, and you may see their name pop up under that person's feed or something, not on yours because you've already blocked them, but it may pop up on somebody else's feed because in their own indirect way, they're trying to let you know that I'm out here. Like, um, you know, like the hoping that you're going to reach out to them and say, hey, you know, how you doing? I was thinking about it. I just saw your name pop. But you're not even looking backwards anymore. That's what I'm saying to you, Aquarius. You're just not even, you're not even looking back because looking back would do this to you. Five of Pentacles, right? emotionally wound you when it comes to money again that's the situation it would put you in some domestic stuff like some of you all have been in, in you know really abusive relationships with a spouse you're not going back to that some of you all have been in i mean physically and verbally and mentally abusive relationships with spouses some of you all have been in uh, verbally physical mentally abusive relationships with family members you're not going back to them again they're going through it right now and you're just moving forward, not because you're bitter, but it's a time of healing. It's a time of healing for them and for you. You are still healing. You're still kind of sort of stepping back into this. You know, I, I love myself, you know, after being, I mean, ripped almost to shreds emotionally, reputation ripped to shreds. I mean, everything that a person could possibly, like I said, some of y'all have been broken all the way down to the core and had to rebuild yourselves back up. And so those people now that they're going through it, they want to somehow re-enter your life because they see how it feels, right? But again, for you, you're just moving forward. Just see this car right here where these people are like shivering in the cold. That's how they left you. That's just how they left you. They didn't even realize just how damaging their behavior was towards you, Aquarius. But like I said, you all are getting as far away from that emotion. Some of your colleagues didn't even notice some of the things that they did. Just made you feel like you were just, I mean, just broken. Sweet treat. Right? So some of you all may reward yourselves with some kind of sweet treat, whether it's sugary or not. I don't know. I, I'm not. I am not a medical doctor, so you want to talk to your doctor about that. But that's what somebody is saying about you. I was like, wow, you know, Aquarius was really, really sweet. Like, what the heck was I on? Like, was I on some kind of street drugs or some kind of medication that just twisted my mind? Because now they're having to deal with some people who cared absolutely. They go. The people that they're treating them just like how they treated you. So now people are remembering just how a sweetheart you were and how a sweetheart you are, right? But again, they won't have access to you anymore. Here we have, I am specific in my desires and I believe in getting results. That's what I'm saying. Be very specific about your intentions that you're setting, what you want to manifest because those results are coming. Yes, go inside and make your, intention, uh, make your intentions known, Aquarius. Do it. Do it, Aquarius, because I'm telling you, it's a time for healing for everybody. You've had to build yourself back up after being completely torn to shreds, your character, everything by some people. And so, again, you forgive them, but you're moving on, and they're just going to have to deal with it. So don't be surprised if names, and I mean, for people that's real close to you, I mean, pop up in your spirit. But like I said, I see somebody just waving at them between a glass and you just moving on and they have no access to you. And I mean, their soul is just tormented because they can't get to you, Aquarius. But hey, you know what? We all create our own karma. They created theirs, so they're just going to have to go through it. All right. That's what I have for you. Bye.